as you can see from the footage here, Bruce Lee invited Joe Lovis on stage to punch on the guy on the left. The guy is about 6 foot tall and he just slightly go backward. Then Bruce Lee demonstrates the 6 inch punch on the same guy. Look at the footage here. Still need more words? How the karate person did this? He did the karate punch, but didn't, uh, still he didn't do the proper karate punch. Okay, he did this. He lifted his back leg like this when he punched. Okay, uh, I don't know why he did that. Okay, he did like this. Here, yeah. he did that. The demonstrator didn't uh, move a lot. Okay, then Bruce Lee did the six inch punch. Okay, with, the, with his uh, right leg, right foot forward. And when the karate guy punched, he didn't have the proper uh, posture. He, he was like this. Okay. It doesn't mean it will not be painful. It will be painful even if your opponent is not moving. But the eff uh, efficiency is less when he is breaking his own posture and punching. Okay. When he Bruce Lee did, Bruce Lee had the proper posture. Okay. Same six inch punch. Okay. From here. I had the proper posture to punch and I had I did the proper hip movement okay and in that video the guy they had the uh, stool behind the chair behind he was uh, he sat on the chair and chair moved a little bit more because the of the surface it's a smooth surface and chair moved more when he sat on that okay so uh, the, the efficiency of the punch is only from back he was standing and where he was sitting in the chair, not after he, after that he moved with the chair, it is because of the surface, okay? I'm not telling it's a fake video or some, anything, okay? Uh, they're just demonstrating like this because uh, to make the people understand the effect of the, of the punch and doing the proper punch with proper posture, okay? So it's not a fake or anything. And one more thing, if he stands like this, with the same power stance, he will not move that much. I'm going to do the same punch, okay? He didn't move that much because he had the proper base, okay? But still, what is the difference if he stands like this and if he stands like this? If, uh, if your opponent uh, trying in any martial art, he will stand like this, okay? Even if he stands like this, when he punch, he will go like this and take a base. Okay. He will move back to radius. You see, he will be just through the punch. Same. Okay. I was here. When he punches, I will move back to take the proper base and also reduce the impact of the punch. Okay. I will block it first of all. Okay. I will not take that punch. I am just telling uh, to reduce the impact. I will move a little bit and also I will take the base because I have to fight back okay, in a real real fight. That's a demonstration so you don't have to stand like this. If you stand like that, who is holding the pad, if he stands like this, he will not move more and the audience will not get at, uh, attracted from the technique. Okay, They will not understand much. 
And one more thing is, if he not move much, what will happen is, he will get all the impact in the in his body. Okay, it will affect him his internal organ, and he will have more, uh, he cannot breathe for some time. Okay, if he moves, then the impact will be less in his inside of his body. Okay, because he is moving, the energy is moving with him. Okay, it's not going in uh, inside our body. Okay, if he not move. It's going to have all the impact into his body and feel moving. Okay, that's why he's moving. So it's not a fake video. It's a, it's a good explanation, good demonstration uh, video. Um, but what you have to understand is this. Okay, the, whatever I said. Okay, the stance of your partner when you're demonstrating partner. Okay, it's very important. Okay, if to demonstrate, it's good to stand like this. Okay, whoever holding the pad. But you must understand that it will be very effective when the opponent is not moving. Okay, if he moves, then the efficiency of the punch will be less. Okay, then he will come back if it is a real fight. He will move up to reduce the impact and he's going to come back for the next uh, technique. Okay, to hit you back. Okay, okay I hope you enjoyed this video. I will meet you in the next video. Until then, bye bye from Guru Manigandan and Kaskar.